I just woke up maybe 30 minutes ago. This is my first time speaking today. Um, and I had an epiphany. I guess you can say that. I don't even know. So if you guys don't know, my boyfriend, his name is Sam. He's on a trip right now and he's been gone for, I think about four days, maybe five days. Let me just say, back in the day when we first started dating, I would be so codependent on him. I would be so upset when he would, you know, be away for whatever the reason was. I just like hate being alone. That's something about me that I've always struggled with. I just literally hate doing things alone. I like having someone to just like hang out with almost every single day. Like, I've gotten a lot better at it because obviously that's not that good to be so codependent on somebody and I have made so much improvement on being my own person and like being okay alone like I genuinely am so okay alone now for the most part it's sometimes it's good to have space apart from your significant other so that way you guys can miss each other more and you just should be okay to do that you know so I am okay to do that but obviously it doesn't completely go away I still don't really like being alone and doing things alone but this this trip that he just went on I really was convinced that I was like so fine I was like this is gonna be amazing I'm gonna have a week to just do me and it'll give us time to miss each other and it'll be so good and it has been good like I've been fine like he's coming back in a few days and it's gonna be so fun to see each other again but I did realize that since he's been gone I haven't really gotten out of my bed <laughs> I think it's just like a subconscious thing because I hate going and doing things alone like usually when Sam is here We'll go and get breakfast and coffee together and we'll have breakfast either at my house Or we'll like drive somewhere and eat breakfast together And that's like kind of like our little routine that I really love that we do that because we get to just have a time together in the morning But since he's been gone, I haven't literally had breakfast this whole week, which is so bad because I love breakfast. It's my favorite part of the day, but I just like haven't really went and gotten coffee, breakfast. I just like stay in my bed until literally like 12, one o'clock and I'll just do work on my computer for hours and hours and I just like skip over breakfast and I'm like, what am I doing? So long story short, this is like a whole long intro to this video. I wanted to push myself and get up out of bed, go get myself coffee alone, make breakfast. Like I just want to do everything alone today and just be independent and like push myself to actually go and do things because i was just not doing them subconsciously we're just gonna hang out together and we're gonna be independent girls today my hair is looking so terrible we need to we need to fix ourselves today but this is my bear that i was sleeping with tonight i love him comment down below what you think his name should be because i still haven't named him we've been sleeping together and it's been lovely kind of made me start to realize that I still needed to work on being alone is when I saw this TikTok the other day. Essentially, the TikTok was a girl saying that she learned in therapy that when people have to fall asleep with like a TV show or something playing in the background while they fall asleep, basically means like when you hate being alone so much, you almost have to trick your brain into thinking that you're not alone so that you can fall asleep. And like, I have always been like that ever since I was a little kid. I always have to fall asleep to a show playing. I love to put on just like a happy, feel good show because it just brings me so much comfort and then I can easily fall asleep. I cannot fall asleep in silence. And once I saw that TikTok, I was like, that makes so much sense because I feel like it really does trick my brain into thinking that I'm not alone when I'm hearing like voices in the background. So I've realized that, you know, I still got some work to do because that's crazy, but whatever, you know? <sighs> I love wearing this cozy robe in the morning, but then I just like never want to take it off. I'm gonna put on a really cozy matching set right now, so. BRB. Okay guys, here's the little OOTD in this really comfy, thick matching set. These just make me feel unstoppable and I love them. So, outfit of the day gets a thumbs up. I want to fill up my Yeti water bottle because I am so thirsty. And then we'll be on our way to go get coffee and breakfast. Yay. Okay guys, we're in the car, we made it. Now, my main problem right now is deciding where I wanna go to get breakfast. I either get breakfast from like Starbucks and coffee from Starbucks, or just like a deli and I get like a bagel and I just get my coffee from there because it's just easier. And I actually do really like the coffee from there, so I'm like, 
really contemplating where to go. It's such a hard decision. <sighs> I honestly hate going to the deli more because I actually have to get out of my car and go inside and like order my bagel and get my coffee myself. Whereas in Starbucks, I could just go through the little drive through and I don't have to like really talk to people. So in honor of this video, I feel as though I should go to the deli <laughs> and push myself to go because I'm honestly dreading it. And that's somewhere that I hate going alone. I feel like maybe it would make sense for this video if I push myself to just go there. And I also do really want a bagel. So I think my decision is made. Ever since I went to the Nessa Bauer concert, I've just been on a Nessa kick. Like, I just can't stop listening to her album. I have, like, a newfound appreciation for it because she was, like, amazing. So I've been loving it. Guess where I am with my bagel. I'm by the water. You guys know this is my favorite spot, so... I was like, you know what? Let's go eat breakfast together there and have a little date. I feel like this is where I always come. I feel comfortable here. I don't know, just something about it. So I got my little bagel. I got an egg and cheese and I would rate that deli experience a 10 out of 10. It really wasn't as bad as I was anticipating. And I feel like that happens to me all the time. I feel like I have anticipatory anxiety. I think that's the word where you just like, have anxiety about something leading up to it even though you know you're gonna be fine once you go through with it so every single time i prove myself wrong it's the bagel look at her she looks so good and of course my coffee mm. oh, um, to continue on with the trend of doing things that make me anxious and that i hate doing by myself i've been putting off calling my tax guy for so long i don't even know why all i have to do is make an appointment and i just have been putting it off and we are going to make the call right now together morning okay that's hung up made my appointment i did it it was literally not bad at all i'm such a baby and i'm happy that i got that out of the way because my dad was yelling at me so if you are putting off making some kind of appointment or some kind of phone call because that's something that i do very frequently i don't know what it is about phone calls but they give me so much anxiety so i'm always putting them off but if you are also putting them off pause this video make your phone call get it out of the way you're gonna feel so much better and it's not gonna be as bad as you think it's gonna be so my camera is like dying so i think i'm gonna go back home charge it up finish eating my breakfast and then we'll continue we'll chat Ugh. okay guys i'm back home and guess what i'm about to go and do i'm gonna go and get my nails done because look at how grown out they are and i really want to get the curled white color i think i got them once before and they are my favorite nails that i've ever gotten so i think i want to get those again and i'm being bad i'm being bad girls <laughs> i'm not gonna go alone me and becca are gonna go together she also needs her nails done and usually we go together to get our nails done so like i'm not gonna be like no because i'm trying to do things alone today i'm gonna just go with her <laughs> I was having such a good run though this morning. Like I did so many things alone that I usually hate doing. And I made my appointment. Girls, that already was a win, you know? So it's fine. It's fine that I'm not going alone to get my nails done because it's funner to go with a friend anyways. And if I really had to go alone, I would've, okay? You can trust me on that. It's just funny that I'm like making this video. And you know what? I'm still gonna title it doing things alone. Something along those lines because my intentions were there. Look at my nails. Honestly, I don't love them, but they're okay. I feel like they're a little too silver. I just wanted like pearly white. Mm, they're giving a little bit tin foil, but it's okay. I think I want to do this face mask because I'm really bored. I'm going to put this face mask on with this spoon. I want to touch it. Back in the bathroom. I've left this face mask on for about 25 minutes. It's very dried up and like hard now. So I obviously need to take her off. But I don't know what else to do today, guys. I feel like I feel like the days are starting to get so repetitive. I just want it to be warm out already so that way we can start like the summer activities, you know? Because every day just feels like the same. If I don't have anything going on with like 
my friends or if I have no events to look forward to, every day just feels the same. Like I usually get my work done in the beginning of the day. So once like five o'clock hits, I'm like, what do I do with myself now? Like I try my best not to go on my phone anymore because my work is literally staring at a screen, whether it's my phone or my computer. Literally while I was getting my nails done, I was like answering emails, doing things on the back end on my phone. Now that I'm pretty much done with that stuff for today and I can relax, I'm kind of losing it because I'm like, what am I supposed to do from now and the rest of the night? Why am I getting a phone call? Not answering it. So that's kind of my situation now. And like, I'm trying to find like, I don't know. Maybe I just need like a hobby that has nothing to do with looking at a screen. I don't know, it's so hard. Okay guys, it's a little bit later. I'm just chilling in bed, rolling my face with this little ice roller. This is so relaxing to me. I know a lot of people do this in the morning, but like for some reason I've been doing it before bed because it just feels so nice. Like sometimes I have like headaches before bed and like doing this kind of helps it to just chill the hell out. But like I was saying, I wanted to try to like find things to do so that way I wasn't just sitting on my phone. And recently, you wanna know what I've been doing? Let me find it. One second, I'm looking for it. Coloring. I started coloring this page. I didn't finish it yet, but I want to kind of work on it because it was so fun. I did this the other night when I didn't want to be on my phone and I just remembered that I had this. So I want to color a little bit with you guys. So I have my little crayons here. I actually was sent this in a PR box. That's why I have these from Tarte Cosmetics and it really has inspired me. So, oh no, one of my crayons broke. Anyways, there's been a trend going around TikTok since the pandemic started three years ago this month in March. And like everyone's posting their pictures from March 2020 to now March 2023 and it was really crazy because I posted one it basically is just to show like how different you look I guess but it also made me like really think about how much my life has changed in just these three years because if you guys don't know I started this YouTube channel one of the first days of quarantine is when I made one of my very first YouTube videos it really just made me think and reflect of how much has changed in these past three years and like this is everything I ever dreamed of like I have right now everything that I've ever ever dreamed of and obviously as the time has gone on I've made new goals and now I have so much that I'm working towards but my goals that I had set and that I wanted and that I dreamed of in 2020 when I first started this channel I currently have and I'm so grateful like I don't think you guys will ever understand how grateful I am. I literally sometimes will sit there and think about it and like start crying because of how insane it is to me that like I actually did it. And I was getting a few comments on the TikTok that I posted that you have been here since I started my channel in 2020. Like you have been here this entire three years. And that to me was also crazy because I didn't even realize that there could have been people out there that were watching my growth over these past three years and like doing it with me. Like you guys out there who have been subscribed to this channel from the very beginning you guys will always hold such a special place in my heart i obviously love all my subscribers new old anyone but the ones that have really been here from the start will always always have such a special place in my heart because you guys saw something in me and you believed in me chose to hit that subscribe button and just follow along on my journey i just feel so grateful for you guys if it wasn't for you i probably would have given up like if i didn't have those few people that would cheer me on in the comments like you guys have given me confidence you guys have made me so happy it's just so i can't even put it into words how how much i appreciate you guys and how grateful I am to be in the position that I am. I want to give back. I want to use my platform for something amazing. And even if I don't exactly know where this channel is going yet, I just know that I, I just feel now more than ever that I have a purpose and that I have, I just have so much to do. That's all, ha that's the only way I can put it is that I have so much to do in this life and I'm so excited to do it. There was a big chunk of my life that I felt so depressed and like, like as if I had no purpose and that I had like no real direction i didn't know like what was gonna happen and i would just like be so unhappy and so now like this feeling of actually having a purpose is like so intense in me and i just can't wait to really i don't know do bigger and better things this is like just like a journal and it had like a little coloring page in it so like not everything is coloring but i kind of want to get a real coloring book so that way i can just like color the whole thing i think that'll be really fun i actually just got a coloring book for britney's birthday for her because since she also struggles mentally i thought that that would be a per perfect thing for her. I don't know. Get her mind off things. I hope she likes it. And Brittany, if you're watching this, you better be coloring. Go get your coloring book. 
Go get your pencils that I got you and start coloring right now. <laughs> Not me yelling at Brittany in my video. I think I'm gonna go to sleep now because I'm tired. That honestly like made me tired. I have my little lamp on right now, but I kind of want to turn it off and go to sleep. I had so much fun hanging out with you guys today. I feel like I really love these just like chill videos where we're just hanging out, just like being real, you know? I feel like these videos are just raw and real. And I love those because I feel like that's when we actually get to bond and like we get to know each other better, you know? Even though you guys can't talk back to me, I just feel like me opening up to you guys just makes our connection stronger and then i always go and read the comments i love you guys so so much i'll see you in the next upload if you want to go and shop my necklace with every jewels i will have the link down below i cannot believe it's out already like this is so insane to me but yeah i will have that link down below i'm gonna put it in my description and like keep it in my description so if you ever are wondering, I will have it in my bio on like all my platforms. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!